42s, no lift. Uh, I really want to try it, so we're gonna. This thing's kind of scary. Okay, we got us a stock silver 24 Mojave. Beautiful morning in Moab. Uh, day two in Moab. We're going to the uh, Jeep concept reveal. Morning. Good morning. Just follow on, we'll park you down the bottom. Then. Thank you very much. So we're a little bit early. Just hang out for a bit, see what's going on. Thanks for coming out. Dude. Oh, you can't see you. Costco's, Costco's the are, cheapest place to get for fans. Stop it! Yeah. How oh. do they charge? I like to go to my husband with tidy little facts that make yeah. me look like I'm like. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm like, oh, we gotta go to Costco. Yeah. This is a great conversation. Yeah. I really appreciate yeah. it. Occasionally, I have knowledge, not very often. <laughs> All right, so Vince talked a little bit about the personalities, right? So, kind of the, the brief this year, uh, as far as what we were gonna do with these Wranglers, was explore two kind of bookends without losing the Wrangler, right? Sometimes we go full tilt and they go, we go put a full body on something and it's not necessarily Wrangler anymore. So this year we wanted to lean into what kind of personalities can we can we kind of push with, with the Wrangler. So on uh, on this side of things, we went with a, a bit of a heritage play on some where we've been versus where we're going. All right, so we got here the uh, kind of throwback Willys concept. I've forgotten all the names of the concepts, so uh, I'll throw it up on the screen or something, but uh, Let's take it for a test drive. So this one uh, seems to be a 2024 4xe. Personally, I'm really excited to try the uh, the one that's on 42s with no lift. I think that's going to be. It looks like a Hot Wheel. It does look like a Hot Wheel. Which one do you like? That red one. Uh, yeah, that looks like a Hot Wheel. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one. <laughs> Kind of curious how the um, the Grand Wagoneer is going to do. You know, I just it never struck me as an off-road vehicle. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, all Jeeps have that to, capability. Today right? it is. <laughs> today it is. I think we can crush the competition from a capability standpoint on what Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer can do, especially when you put the right tire packages on and things like that. So we definitely want you guys to take this for a spin. I mean, it looks great, but we definitely want you guys getting out there and doing it. It's got a. Uh, you know, a little bit bigger suspension than the stock Grand Wagon here, so it should be interesting. Uh, obviously, there's all these overland mods and stuff, but what we really want to know is as a drive, so we're gonna find out. So this is on 35, it's got a low lift. They made the fenders a little bigger. Um, I think this is kind of a, 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 you know, what would you say, a remastered concept? Is that fair to say? Yeah. What I want to know is how is it gonna handle the off-camber stuff and um, going up the rocks? Yeah. Well, it should be good. We'll see. Here. Oh my goodness! This is not. This feels like driving a car. <laughs> wow! It's the first time today we've lifted a tire. That went about <laughs> as well as I expected. <laughs> We are in Moab in a in a Grand Wagoneer. It's interesting. It's, it it's, doesn't feel natural. That hill climb that we did, unfortunately, we didn't quite capture it on camera, but it felt interesting. Well, the spotter was telling me I was three wheeled. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, just a little three wheeled, no problem. Rock crawl on there, Sean, and a big old Wagoneer yeah. on thirty fives. Feels a little bit different than yours. Uh, oh, come on, we're stuck. Keep going. There you go. You got, whoa! <laughs> we should be filming from the outside, not the inside. <laughs> Definitely lifted her up there a little bit. There's, you know, there's lots of places you could take this. For yeah. Sure. Like, I mean, you think any place you could take a full size off road truck. Yeah. You could probably take this. Yep. You just don't want to get too flexy or too tippy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to definitely be off camera in this. Thing. Yeah, but for an off, like a like a family mobile. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, and for an overland trip, how comfortable would this be on a long drive? 
you know, with the, the Hemi in its final edition, we thought what a fitting kind of tribute it would be to do something similar on uh, something that was kind of influenced by, you know, one of the first Jeeps that, that we had done with a Hemi in it, uh, something with big tires, high clearance flares. So to take that same kind of mentality and apply it to a, a 392 four-door. So again, we started with a, with a 392 Wrangler. We did not uh, raise it up, so it's on stock suspension height of a Rubicon, but we put, uh, well, it's got the Dana 60s in it, and then we put 42 inch tires uh, wrapped around 20 inch bead locks. And, uh, you know, I, I like to say that, you know, when you're a production designer and, and you're, you're fighting for millimeters over the course of a couple years, Moab concepts are a blast because instead of, you know, uh, fighting for millimeters, you're literally working on a project that takes a sense of humor and a hacksaw. So this also has the coolest fenders that I've seen on one of the concept Jeeps. It's got the vents and then it also has some built in running lights here. And these are, you know, high clearance fenders. So they're very cool. See, they got the combat off-road uh, hood clamps on here. We might get some of these for the Trail Destroyer. And then the clear hood is my favorite. Uh, I just think that's awesome. With the, the, what do you guys think? On the Trail Destroyer, clear hood so you can see the 426, huh? Yeah, all right. Let's take this thing for a drive. Wow, this, uh, this the glow that comes from this clear Yeah, that's top. crazy. Since Great. just hopped into lowdown and Sean's gonna drive first. And this thing is a very beautiful and probably rowdy 392 that they have built on 42 inch tires with no lift, which required a massive amount of trimming. And uh, uh, Chris Piscatelli showed me some of the trimming they had to do. It's crazy. Yeah, we were just looking at how close the 42 inch tire is yeah. to the body. Yeah. Very cool. And they had to raise the fenders up like six inches and then and then it's got the clear hood. There's no radio. They've taken the radio out of here because they said you don't oh, yeah. need it. That's crazy. Yeah. You, you hear that? That's all the noise and tunes you need. You can't lose on 42s is what I hear. <laughs> you can't <laughs> lose on 42. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> It's a soft roof. Taking out my favorite Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> 42s, no lift. We definitely hit some bump stops a couple of times. The sound of this engine when you when you stop. I don't know what they've got on here for this is that's definitely not a stock muffler. Right? I don't know. It sounds well, great. All I know is we turned on the loud mode and we woke up some dinosaurs yeah. for sure. What are your thoughts? Uh the color in the sun mm. is crazy. And I love the fenders and the hood. The, the styling, uh, they just, it's yeah. on point. And honestly, I could live without a radio in a vehicle like this. So. Yeah, it, it, you're not gonna hear the radio anyway. Yeah, no, right? Starting with the exterior, uh, the color is what we call ginger snap metallic. Uh, we reference some of the 70s J10 uh, colors there, paired it with a satin black two-tone graphic. Again, kind of retro inspired. Um, we've got our JPP flat flare concept kit. So we've shown this on the JL Wrangler a couple times. This is the first time we're showing it here on the Jeep Gladiator. Uh, just trying to give some extra clearance for these uh, brand new KO3 40 inch all-terrain tires. So there's plenty of extra clearance there. We've got 18 inch beadlock KMC wheels. We have AccuAir off-road suspension on this thing. So you can slam this thing all the way down to the bump stops. You can raise it up. We got about uh, six inches of uh, lift that you can get out of this kit. Yeah, we've, we've not been able to, uh, to find its limits yet. Obviously, this is more of a closed course, not, yeah. not, <laughs> not super extreme, but uh, enough where you can, you can test capability. But yeah, we've, we've not hit the limits on it so far. So could you do like, say you were camping, right? And you're on off, off camber situation. Could you level it out and park it like that? Like lower one side? You, you've got four corner adjustability. So that, would, that would be a possibility, yeah.
So I really liked the uh, the feel of the suspension on this. It's got the AccuAir suspension, which uh, I didn't know what to expect from that because it's something totally different. There's no coil springs, obviously. It's just air. Uh, obviously, that's not a Jeep product. It's something they've put on it, but it's kind of a cool uh, thing to experience. And it's, it was really smooth. I was surprised how smooth it was on the on the trail, you know, after driving in here in our Jeep and how bumpy it was. <laughs> so, yeah, I like it. We are in uh, the staff car. The staff car. It's a JK based military wagon. Brad's driving. I'm just riding along. Oh, just uh, never nothing to see there. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's great. I like no doors. Yeah, this one is really low geared. I don't know if this has a stock transfer case or I don't know any of the specs, but like you can drive this with no hands. No feet, no hands. <laughs> pretty sweet I like this I've never driven with no doors yeah because our climate is you know so fun just get to drive a bunch of different Jeeps when do you get to do this <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why they didn't let you drive Sandstorm by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they knew, they knew who it was. <laughs> They're like, oh no, not that guy, not that guy. This is another one of the concepts from previous years. Uh, Brad told me this is his favorite concept vehicle that he's driven, so uh, I really want to try it, so we're gonna, we're just gonna steal it, go for a, a little joy ride out here. All right, so I don't know anything about this concept other than this thing is super short, uh, and it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> this thing's kind of scary. <laughs> so did you have to assign like your life away to come to this? No. Because I think it's just crazy that we're driving these without signing any documents. No, they said they trust me. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a cool day because we're just out here getting to test drive all these uh, Jeeps that are just concepts designed by the Jeep engineers that most people would never get to drive. I think that's just the coolest thing. I'm super stoked that we were invited. This is amazing. We're so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Right, we got us a stock silver 24 Mojave. We're going to do a trail ride with a bunch of other uh, stock 24 Mojaves. Right, this new command center. Yeah, we got the new screen. We got, uh, there's trail routes and stuff on here. So we got the 2024 Jeep Gladiator Media Route, drive route. Uh, a sensory overloaded odyssey through very terrains northwest of Moab, Utah. All right, guys, we are in the 2024 Gladiator Mojave. Uh, as you can tell by the new dash and interior and everything. We got power seats, which I haven't played with yet, but uh, I will. Anyway, they're trusting us to take this out on the trail. We're gonna go to Wipeout Hill, go to uh, some trail driving, and uh, there's the trail destroyer. And uh, I don't know, it's gonna be fun. S super excited that Jeep invited us out to do this. So let's see what happens. Oh, we bumped me, okay. Some great woods right here, and for those of us with a rock falling background and hearing the sound of hitting bump stops is usually a bad thing. Think of this thing stock form it's pretty impressive compared to like i know everyone hates on stock but i wouldn't have guessed a stock gladiator could go over this trail that we just did i know it's kind of crazy <laughs> that's all right just built for it <laughs> they told us <laughs> yeah this thing 
is fantastic. <laughs> that is my opinion. <laughs> like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> what vehicle can you drive like this? Yeah. I saw Brad's bouncing around. <laughs> I feel like my Jeep would launch. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stripped in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. We're just looking at the suspension yeah. because it's got like some kind of specialized hydraulic bump stop. And that's what we're feeling when we're hitting the whoops, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling anything. I'm just hearing a yeah, click. Yeah, you hear it. You hear a click, but it just so smooth through it. It just eats up everything. I, it's crazy. I did not expect this, honestly. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I'm having so much fun. This yeah. is like the most fun driving I've, I've done in a yeah, while. It's a blast. <laughs> 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 this can't be legal. <laughs> sideways and windy and uh, we're rallying in the sand. This is so rad. Woo. How was it? That was so much fun. Awesome. I can't believe that this vehicle can do that. Yeah, isn't that great? It's You're so not used fun. to the fast, right? Yeah, yeah, we were going so fast. It was amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Appreciate it. Way this is valet parking right here. Actually, uh, James, where do you want this one? 